So next, we want to add rows to a database. We created a database and then, you know, we have something in there. Let's see, what do I have in practice? If, uh, let's see in accounts, how many columns I have? Three. So I have an address, the balance, and account number, but I have another one that is trains that should be in practice three tables yes train is in there so in trains we already did something here but I can show you uh, from the start I should make a new one or just show you this one so this is actually saying that what's the train number and what's the uh, train name and these are the commands like how to do it so how to actually add data into a database like rows so we can let's uh, do it here let's try adding data to one of our uh, database this will be a big one I want to work with small one so account number address and balance we can work with this one so this one is the account is in practice two. so first we have to go to the practice two. So we have to change our database. <clears throat> we are right now we're working in employee database, but we want to work in this database. So we go here and if then next one, what we want to do is we want to work in that uh, table in column uh, in this one uh, account. So first we have to change it. If I execute it, you see I'm not in practice two and then I can actually list the table SP underscore help table uh, account so if I do this it's gonna give me the account the three the three columns that I have working there was another one that I could do select star from information underscore schema dot table no column and this should give me the exact same thing again okay column that's a bummer let's try columns um, okay I get everything so I'm working in it's showing me all the columns in there so there are different uh, tables in here you see course details course details and department everything but I'm I only work in this particular for that I have to run this command it's basically listing everything and if I were to select star from information underscore schema dot tables and I go like that it will show me four table or five table whatever is there so you see one two three four five so department account and course detail so we are interested in working in co account so how to add information to account so right now if I am to run this one you will see nothing in there is oh no this should not be the it should be select star from account so if I am to run this one you can check there is nothing in here but if I add and then run this again the whatever I have added will be here so let's give it value so so let's in insert so for the command to insert data is first we have to tell it what we are doing we are insert into 
what's the table name account and then we can pass on the where we are adding stuff we can get that uh, we say account number AC account number okay then comma the next one is address and comma the next one is balance and we can close it next we pass the values so values is this one and we can say we again we can put that with the like you know uh, a comma separated so account number will be for example the first guy account number should be let's go with one two three okay and we put it comma then we want to put the address for the address we go with this we have to put in uh, dots in comma so we will go with the uh, 45th Street Queens let's see can I put a comma in here I'm just well, I just want to see what's the scope of this thing is and then we put a comma in here that separates the value and what's the balance balance will be can I put dollar sign let's put dollar sign 20 bucks and I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna put in here at this let's run this see if we can run it one row affected so one row affected means that whatever you entered has been added so let's go and check that how you check that through this command if you can see one two three is the account number that I passed the address is 45th Street in Queens and the it did not take my dollar sign but it says 20 so that's how yep no dollar sign there so success that's how you add uh, data into the um, table